Now, as we go through all these processes, all these data will be simultaneously updated into the system. You will keep on constantly checking the changes. Uh, along with this, we have tremendous other functions like job inspection. So you can do a job inspection for the project. can choose inspection type, job order, job cost sheet, relevance, every information can be fetched here for a particular line also. So I have scheduled the inspection here. Under inspection, so I can enter my details. Table inspection passed. I can enter the more details. So these inspection parameters can again be set up. and so on you can attach photos documents you can describe the result in detail and close the inspection inspection result has not been updated In this way, the inspection will be closed. Beyond this, we have options to manage the project budget as well. So project budgets can be managed here. To manage the project budgets, you go to the project budget section. Choose the project. Define the period. Choose budgetary positions. Cost type material. You can choose job orders, cost sheets, job type, job cost line. You can define planned amount, which is already fetched if you see. Similarly, I'm going to add things. So if you define your cost sheets, if you see here carefully, you are able to fetch a lot of information automatically. I am simply choosing lines and this is fetching me all the values. You can see the details here. So all the details have been fetched here, the planned amount, practical amount, theoretical amount, achievements, and so on. And based on the actual entries, the system will also show the values. All the details have been copied. Once the budget has been passed, based on the actual entries, the system will show the budget values automatically. When you define your invoice in the accounting section,
if you look at this invoice, you will see the details. If you look at the journal entry which is being generated, it talks about the details of locations, analytic account as well, which will uh, give us the real value of the expenses as well. So in this way, the budget can also be reconciled and updated accordingly. Accordingly, if I go back to the jobs, I have options to manage the subcontractors. Subcontractor management is very simple. They will be created as a vendor. And for each and every vendor, I will be able to define jobs. So defining jobs is just an addition task of assigning a particular job as a subcontractor job. So within subcontractor, you can define that this particular job is a subcontractor order. When you define this, it becomes subcontractor order. All other processes remain the same. In this way, our complete project management can be handled. Along with this, the system has comprehensive purchase management solution, which we have seen briefly but we'll have a look once again. As far as purchase is considered, we can have process to manage purchase indents for each and every project. submits for approval goes to your manager who approves this once approved goes to the finance department who raises a request for quotation by choosing a vendor if the prices are predefined or chosen before then you can directly raise the PO if not you can actually ask for quotation Create the purchase order. Receive the shipment. Generate the bill. Payment terms, submit for approval, validate, and this bill is booked up. As far as purchases are considered, you can manage your vendors and products and price list as a standard application. As far as inventory is considered, We can manage uh, various functions in the inventory. Right from defining different warehouses, locations, and operation types. Under the dashboard, we can see all the operation types and their values. We can do our transfers for stock, starting from receipts, deliveries, and internal transfers as per the choice. We have quality control procedures available for project management as well as receipt and delivery of stock items, which we can manage based on the parameters which are predefined. These are all optional items. So that means at any point of time, you have options to uh, remove or not use certain kinds of modules. And we have reporting available, a detailed reporting available for inventory management as with most modules. 
as far as accounting section is considered we have all the features available for all possible countries beyond this we have defined and modified the system for various accounting packages like ifrs indian accounting kenyan accounting us accounting and so on however at any point of time any changes any requirements based on accounting packages occur we can define along with the standard accounting reports we have available all possible reports available with us in excel as as well as the pdf format we have additional bank statement reconciliation process management of security deposits and all accounting functions are tightly integrated with all the other modules of the system so as far as accounting is considered you will get a complete package including the compliance as well finally moving on to the human resources human resources in odu is very limited and hence we have enhanced the system to capture each and every process right from the time of recruitment by making a recruitment request to the actual job applications after the recruitment you can go and create and manage the employees within employees you can manage all possible data including educational and employment history after an employee joins you will be running the employee onboarding process or joining process where at this point of time you will be creating their bank accounts erp accounts and you will also be allocating assets to them so asset management can also be handled here asset allocation as well as asset return once this is done in the regular process the employees will be apply, able to apply your leaves now leave application can vary from the policy can vary from company to company and hence we will be defining this as per your company's requirement we will have a detailed attendance management system again based on the attendance policy i will be happy to demonstrate based on your requirement once we understand how exactly attendance policy is managed we can have different detailed explanatory disciplinary actions defined here again completely based on your policy performance management based system we have available be different parameters which we can define with different weightages to employ and manage again can be modified as per the company policy and finally after processing all hr we can manage our payroll within the system payroll is available for different countries middle east countries uh, india kenya nigeria and so on payroll can be modified as per the requirements we can also define salary advances and loans and overtime as per the requirement uh this completes our brief demonstration of the construction management system i have covered a, a detailed process of scanning the tender and deciding whether to bid for it i have covered tendering and estimation project uh, process i have covered a detailed project management process and billing i have covered how we will be managing budgets and related expenses through purchases i have also covered briefly how we have a complete and a very comprehensive accounting and human resources packages which we will be adapting to your requirements to your country and so on thank you very much for watching this video thank you like share and subscribe our youtube channel videos and you will be getting a lot and yes don't forget to comment upon these videos because if you comment on these videos this will really going to give us the motivation to upload more and more videos thank you thank you so much stay tuned